Okay. Now, my friends, we are about to do something that's irritating and kind of boring. A lot of drudgery going on here, but it's extremely important. When we look at our site, we can see that we did a very good job stylizing the, the type and we stylized the button bar so that it, the button bar looks good on every media screen and disappears okay so we, we did that but look what happens here to our calendar our calendar gets really turns really into a mess our column is here and the, ca the calendar goes too far over. For one thing, we might want to change the width of the columns when we get to the 480. Maybe we want to make this a little bit longer. Eh, you know. It actually looks pretty good that way. Yeah, we should probably leave it. We covered the, the column changers. Uh, we, let's do it anyway. Even though this looks good and I would just leave it the way it was. Let's say we don't want the the this column to be so skinny as compared to this one. Let's make it so that this column, the section, is the same width. This is going to go, instead of going through eight, eight uh, rows, we're going to make it go across six. And then we'll make this instead of four, it'll go across six. That way, when things go a little bit better. Also, our, our graphics are going to look too small down here. And so what we're going to do is we're going to change this so that they don't go four across. They'll go two across. And then under that, there, there will be two. So we're going to divide up these columns into two and two rather than four across because things start getting a little bit smushed. Okay, I'm going to do that just because I want to show you how this works. So we'll go to our column changer and our section is currently 8, but we want it to be 6. And our, ooh, our right bar, I think we've misspelled it, right bar is currently 4, but we want it to be 6. Okay, and then we can go down to our notes here. And what are they? They're the graphics. So I just copy that because I won't remember before I get to, or I'll forget before I get to the next screen. So we have four of those. So we do one, two, three, and four. And currently, these must be three. But we want them to be six so that they will go across half. And we want to do this at 480. So what basically what it's doing is it's saying the section, instead of being the, uh, the other percentage determined by the style sheet, is now going to be 50%. Eh, it doesn't figure it out exactly, but <laughs> that's pretty close. Math is not my big thing. All right, so I'm going to copy this. I'm going to go to my style sheet. I'm going to find my 480. Oop, here's 320. 380. This is beginning to 380. This ends the details for 480. So making sure I don't hack out this maroon uh, uh, bracket or curly, whatever it is, I'm going to put it here. Hopefully I spelled that. Did I do it right? R, R, right bar. Yeah. R, right bar. Okay. So it's just going to take the, the column widths and customize it for that width. So here we go. I'm going to move the style over. And now when we get down to 480, everything is fine there. Four across four across but when we get to the 480 look here it is content here and here so we can see that it made it half and half the reason it goes down because these are two different widths but as you can see 
that instead of going just across three columns, they now go across half the page or six columns. And this, of course, is just going to turn it into 100% for the phone. Okay. Notice also that the calendar takes up the same amount of space. These both go over six or six columns or 50%. So if we were to look at that, let's look at that real closely. Here it is. Before this used to be six or eight, they now go across six because each section, each div is 50%. Okay, so you can go and style these divs however you want, make them disappear, uh, and more. So we're getting really responsive. It looked better before, but we don't care. We wanted to see this, and now the calendar seems to be a little better. So I'm going to put it back the way it was now that you understand, because it looked pretty darn good. I'm just going to take this out, and it'll go back to the column size. Let's make sure we put the styles. Because you know what, it did look pretty good, even at 480 like that. We'd have to test it on an iPad. There, now it's back. But, look at this calendar. This calendar is way too big. The, the, the words here could probably be smaller so that this, this uh, portion here won't be so goofy looking. Okay, so let's resize this. Okay, let's start with the calendar. Okay, so if we look at the calendar here, it's too far over to the, to the left. So we can take care of that. So at 1024 or 1280, it's hard to tell because our screen uh, is, doesn't go up to 1280. So let's go to 1024. Let's see. Let's look for our style for, oh, 768. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Let's go. Okay, begins dial for 768. Here's 960. Okay, so let's just make sure that we're looking at the same thing. Okay, let's hit refresh. And we can see that this screen size is between 1024 and 1280. So we got to go to the 20, 1024 to change this. So let's go to the 1024. Oh, here it is. Oop, end responsive details. Okay, so that's not it. Ooh, end the WordPress widget styles for 1024. So this is where we can adjust all those WordPress widgets. And look, here's the calendar. So right now, it's, it's uh, moved over 25 pixels. But we, on this, we can move it over, let's see, calendar box that holds the whole calendar. So let's move it over. Let's just guess 45. Let's see if that centers the, the calendar a little bit better. We'll update our style CSS. Take a look. Oop, moved it. Oh, we could move it over a little bit more. So let's move it over to 50 pixels. Save it. Re move our style CSS over. And let's take a look. Maybe 55. See, this is the drudgery. The drudgery of being a, a web guy. Move it over. Check it out. All right. So that's a little bit more centered. And although it's centered here, on our next media screen down, Watch it pop there. Ugh. Look, it's not centered anymore. So let's see what's what size screen we're working with. Ooh, ooh, it's right underneath. So this this would be this is between 960 and 1024 by two pixels. So that's that's something there. So let's find our 960. Ooh, details for 1024. Okay, oh, begin styles for 960. All right, so here, begin WordPress styles for 960. Let's go to that calendar. And here it is. Okay, space button. Box that holds the whole calendar. Let's put it at 45, see if that'll work. 
So let's move it over. Ooh. No, a little bit more, let's say 50. So we're moving that widget over for each media screen. You see, there are certain styles that are created by WordPress, and I just collected them. Ah, there we go. There. Looks great. There, it's centered there. On the next media screen, ooh, it's centered there. Ooh, that's pretty good. Uh, so it was already too far over to the left, but it looks good there. So it's between, it's now between 768 and 960. So at 768, that looks pretty good. Now let's move it down. This will be to 480. Oh man, look, it's way too big and it's too far over. But we can fix that, because look, if we go to the 480, here's 768, we're gonna leave alone because you know why? If we were gonna change it, this is where we change 768, because this is where we begin the widgets, but it looked pretty pretty good the, the way it was. So we're just gonna go down to 480. Here it is, styles for 480. Let's find that calendar. So what we're going to do, here's the box that holds the whole calendar. We're going to move it to zero. That's right, zero pixels. So it's not even going to move right. We're going to depend on that that nested. But look here, we can change the, the, the size of the calendar. So this is the month label. The month label is this. The weekday label is this. And the dates are all of these. So let's change these. Okay, let's go and here's the title. Let's change this down. Okay, no, no, that's something else. Uh, here it is. The calendar wrap month label. So I don't know, let's change this down to 10. Let's see if 10 works. We'll just change all of these down to 10. So it's going to jump from 14 points for that text. There's some more. 14. And visited. Let's see if that works good. Okay, calendar wrap, dates link. Let's make sure that's they're all 10. And so we moved it over. So no padding, or there's there's not gonna. Oh, what did we forget? Do it all the time. Let's move that style over, and now let's take a look. <gasps> so we're able to change the WordPress widgets per media screen. Okay, okay. So look at this title. Title looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Uh, it might be a little bit. This is great for news collection, but what happens if there was a, a bigger title? Eh, we're not, it looks okay though. I don't. Th I think news collection. Oh, but look at this. This is this is too big. It takes up too much space. So let's look to see what size we have to deal with. Well, look, dude, the titles are terrible down here too. So this is between 480, <coughs> sorry, and 768. So let's go to our 480. Okay, let's see. Device for 480. And look, right here is the widget title. The space above and around the title blocks. Right now the font is 14. Let's knock it down to 10. And there's way, way too much padding. So let's just put four pixels padding at the top. And that too probably doesn't matter. Okay, so we change the padding of the title to four at the top. Mm, you know, let's make it three. It's all up to you. You're the boss. Okay, so the titles are going to go 100% across. There's going to be a margin top, which is going to move down 
that particular widget so it doesn't get uh, mixed up with the one above it. So let's save it. Let's move it up. Let's take a look now. Let's see the work of our hands. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah, isn't that better? And as the screen gets bigger, so do the titles. So as you can see, you can change all of your buttons uh, in those style sheets, in those media screens. And you could also change the WordPress widgets. You know, if we look down here, look at how big the, the text is down here. You know, we probably want to shrink those too. So let's go back and at 480, here's, uh, here we go. Archives, pages, category links. Here they are. Okay, let's see, text widget. Let's see, make sure we're going to do the right one. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, and these, okay, text widget. Well, we should probably change all the fonts while we're back here down to 10 because they're all going to have to be changed. Okay. And so let's just go and say that all the archives, pages, category links, let's just make those font size 10 as well. And remember, this is at 480. So let's update again. And let's look at it now. Yeah, you see how they, they shrunk down? So now they're consistent with the other widgets, with the calendar. And now they're consistent. But when we get to the other screens, they grow back. So you can determine the size of the widgets or the color of the widgets according to media screen. Okay. So it's looking pretty good, pretty good. But that, you know what I don't like? I don't like the search box being so big. So let's go back to our 480. Go down to our search. Here's our search box. It looks like the height is 22, but since most of our fonts are 10, we could change that to 12. That way, there'll be it'll be 12 pixels, just enough space for the text that we type in. Let's see if we actually did that. So let's do our style and let's go take a look at our our search box there you see is isn't that more consistent and you can see there it is and it grows and it shrinks according to the media screen okay and our width is a hundred percent I do know that look kind of that look kind of stuffed there didn't it let's do 80 percent or maybe let's do 90 percent See, this is, the, this is the cool part. You get to decide because why? Because you are the webmaster. There. See how nice, how much nicer that fits in there. Okay. And so there, as you can see, you can change the widgets according to the device.